welcome to my channel folks now I'm going to show you how you can change your launch configuration for an existing auto scaling group let us say you have created an AMI with the security keys and all the necessary configurations and you launched your auto scaling group and after some time you find that your new golden image has been created by your development team and that needs to be deployed into your production auto scaling group so in those cases how you can configure your launch configuration with your new AMI and all the latest binaries and how you roll it out to production that is what I'm going to show you now so I have a setup a simple launch configuration here in my EC2 dashboard let us go ahead and see that now here I have an auto scaling group with two instances and it currently it is running fine and the lifecycle state says that they are in service and there are no problems with it and if I go to my launch configuration now that is my instances and let us go to the launch configuration and you see here it says that it is running with AMI version 1 and the AMI ID is here so but recently my development team has informed me that they have created a new AMI and they are calling it as AMI version 2 so now I need to update my launch configuration with the latest version of the AMI now so the for to do that what you do is you come to your launch configurations select the one that you want to update and click on actions and you go ahead and choose copy launch configuration so here in the section you will have edit AMI go ahead and edit it and choose the latest AMI that you want to update it with so click on select and then it wants you to confirm so let us go ahead and confirm click next and then click on configure details if you want to make any changes go ahead and make them and then if you want to make any changes here say for example you want to change the role or you want to change the user data field or the type of kernel that you want to run go ahead and change them so once you are happy go ahead and click on review and click on create launch configuration here in this case I'm going to choose the key and then click on create so my new launch configuration is called as a copy you can change it anytime when you are creating the launch configuration itself so let us go ahead and see the auto scaling group that we are currently running and I want to change this one into the latest version now so go ahead and click on actions click on edit and here you will have a drop down field under launch configuration section so that you can go ahead and update it with your latest configuration so click ahead and go ahead and click on save so that is how you change your launch configuration for an existing auto scaling group if you are not sure if your new launch configurations has taken into effect and you want to test them what you can do is you go to your instances and then let us terminate one of those instances and we will trigger auto scaling to launch a new instance and we will see the AMI of the new instance being launched we can see here that one of the instances is shutting down and very soon auto scaling should pick up the status of that instance and it should create another instance now so my instance has terminated let us go to our launch configuration or auto scaling group and see what is happening at instances and we see that there is only one instance now and we see there the launch configuration is picking into effect and the new instance is booting up so if I go to my activity history we will see that the instance has terminated and a new instance is coming up online so if we go to our EC2 dashboard we should be able to see the new instance coming up and you see here it is getting initialized and if we go to the AMI ID we should be able to find the new AMI ID mentioned here there you go that is the new AMI ID that was there web server 2 and if I go to my EC2 images that you see here the web server image is also AMI BB96 so that is how you change your launch configuration with your latest AMI and ensure that your production is not impacted while you are rotating your images or deploying new images. Thanks for watching. Happy learning.